Hi and welcome back to Survival with a Twist. My name is Dougal and we are still stuck in the forest. Um, I don't know if you've been with me last time, but if you have been with me last time, you've seen this giant cave I've been in. I've spent the last three, three and a half hours trying to empty out that cave. I've got tons and tons of material out of it. That backpack here, by the way, is full as well. I got tons of material out of it. I haven't smelted any of it. I just went in there and just chopped down what I could reach and built my way up and just chopped it all down. So, the mission for this episode, then, the goals are, as they're empty here, we're going back into the overworld. I'm going to transport all of this stuff over into our house, which we haven't seen in a while. Um, we are going to make an enchantment room. We're going to, there is a, let me just show you, sword. There's a bunch of swords I want to try out because I want to. I don't get the tool tips to work. So if any one of you has an idea how I can get that to work, here it says fire aspect one, knockback one. But usually there is a way to get it so that it gives you the durability and the strength. So we have the standard swords here, but there is a scorpion sword here, which is pretty easy to make. I want to make that as well and see if I can enchant it. It's probably stronger than a diamond sword and maybe has some poison effect. I have no idea. Um, there's a bunch of swords. The slime sword I can make as well pretty easy. It's just simple. Um, see how strong it is. This one is unfortunately you can't make it. The fiery sword. Do we need to go into the nether for that? But yeah, I want to try to get a different sword done. Um, that's basically the mission for today. Bring all the stuff over, um, build an enchanting room, enchant a bunch of stuff, and um, enhance the house a little bit with a bunch of shelves and make it a bit prettier, but uh, we'll do that off cam. So I'll just jump cut and come back when I manage to bring all this stuff over. I think I need to make two, three journeys. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so here we are again. All the chests are empty, the shelves are empty. I left a bit of coal in there because I am planning on coming back here. There is two more boss mobs I want to show you. One is called the Naga, it's a big snake type thing. And then the Hydra, and you all know the Hydra, chop a head off and two more will grow. Um, but I'm kind of getting a bit tired of this forest, so I thought we'd do a few episodes of something else. Maybe get the enchantment going, get us a bit of proper gear, and then we come back here. And also gives you a bit of variation. So, let's head back into the overworld. Oh, we never actually did make this here prettier. Alright, I'll see you in the overworld. So, here we are, back home. Haven't seen this in a while. I mean, I have. I was here, just there, emptying out all those boxes. I still have lots of stuff on me. Um, let me just get... I'll just put it in here for now. And some miscellaneous. We are going to create some shelving soon. Some shelving soon and um, sort this out a little more, make it all a bit prettier. So, ah, uh, it's not a mob drop. My god, what am I doing? Food item, farming. Ah, oh, yeah, we have to still continue building an underground farm. Now that I have all that glowstone from the twilight forests, we can do that as well. But yeah, um, I'll put up some golds, as usual. We do have the enchanting room to do. We Gold 2 was the sword I just talked about. Uh, I want to try to find something more effective than uh, just a diamond sword, because there are so many. And then we want
want to enhance the house by putting up some shelving and make it a bit prettier and um, I'll do this in a probably bit by bit jump cutting and then showing you kind of thing. We still have the ultimate goals which is the pet elephant. I think we're gonna tackle that very soon in one of the next episodes. Sorry, I just thought that was um, one of the legend gear. No, it's just standard grass. And the legend gear is Zelda type of grass. If you chop it away, it gives you um, emerald shards and or hearts. Yeah, uh, the Twilight Forest. We've done that for now. Uh, we're gonna put that on hold. I'm probably gonna put up a sign over there that we're going to go back there. And the Ender Dragon. Yeah, that's for later. The moon mods. Um, I know some of you might be excited about these. There's two different mods with the moon. Uh, they're still massive. I tried it again. They're still a bit messy when it comes to compatibility. What I'm probably going to do is I'm going to make a separate... I'm just going to copy this world. Uh, take out all the other mods and just focus on the moon mods for an episode or two so you can get to see what the moon the surface and so on looks like. It's pretty cool. I've been up there with the w without any other mods, but yeah, we'll focus on this at a later point. For now, it's just going to be a, an easygoing episode. Bit of building, enchanting, and so forth. So I still need to finish my floor. It's pretty ugly. with a bit of green here. I want it all red. But yeah. <coughs> okay. I'm going to sort out with a quick jump cut what I have in my backpack and get all the stuff together think about how I'm going to do it with the enchantment room I want to bore you with my line of thoughts train of thoughts and then for the building process I'll be back with you so I have a ton of bookshelves I have even way more in my box uh, in my chests as you remember from the magic tower two episodes back the lich king he had lots and lots of bookshelves. So I'll just raid it his whole tower. Took all the books. And yeah. Made tons of bookshelves. Really nice. So what I'm doing is yes, I have the better enchanting active. So I can actually choose my enchantments what I want on my weapons, armor, gear and so on but if I have bookshelves around, I'll show you in a second then it will get cheaper so if you see here, now I can see 30 bookshelves I think that's the max, I think it won't make a difference, it's like black in the old one so and if I put it in here now I'm not going to enchant that sword because we're going to make new gear to enchant. But yeah, it says 30 bookshelves. And if there's 30 bookshelves around, then it's cheaper to enchant. So we're going to put a glowstone above here. That makes it look pretty. And oh, wait a second. No, I want to. I want to do it differently. I want to use these bugs, these firefly thingies here. Um, somehow I want to incorporate them. I'm just going to make it a bit prettier here. So, boom. Ah, just because I have so many bookshelves, just make it a little prettier. So, I'll put some of these up. Ah, something like that. I can always change my mind later. And then I put a glowstone brick up here. Ah, that's pretty cool. Maybe even... Yeah. Yeah, we'll leave it like this. And I have to think about something for the floor. I was thinking of... Um, thatch. That's the material over in the millionaire villages. You get that there. It's kind of like... They use it for the roofing, but it kind of looks like um, wood floor paneling. Like um, laminate, laminate, uh, parquet kind of floor. So I was thinking of using that in here. But yeah, that's just aesthetics. I know, I can be pretty anal when it comes to building. Okay, enchanting room, done. Let's do that thought thing. Um, put these ones back in here. I do have 
two stingers already. Okay, I'm guessing we're going on to a scorpion hunt. We need one more stinger. So, I think I've seen them up here before. No, I'm sure they're over in the desert anyway, so we'll just go there. Let's check this out quickly. No. No scorpions here. What? Ah, it's a sheep. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's head over into the desert and do a bit of scorpion hunting. Um, I have been thinking about the... because I have the eight instant structures as a mod um, put in. And what they do, you can craft yourself... a oh, snake. You can craft yourself a block which you put in the ground and then when you hit that block it will make a structure. Um, a house or other sorts of structures. Um, I think that's a bit of cheating. Um, but there is one structure which spawns um, a mob spawner. There's one which is for a zombie and one for a skeleton spawner. And as I don't want to go into creative mode or cheat mode to give myself a spawner, I think I will just... No, there's no scorpions. There's... Before they were everywhere. I'm uh, just gonna craft myself one of those zombie spawner rooms in order to make myself an XP grinder. Um, I'm not going to do it this episode, maybe next or the one after. An elephant on a palm tree. Only in Minecraft here. Um, the, in the next episode or the one after. But let me know what you think. Let me know if you think this is cheating or let me know if you think, hey, go ahead no problem with us. So, just I want to know what your thought is on this. Hey, this is pretty cool material. What is this? Mud brick. Hmm. I'm just gonna take some of these. I was thinking of making like a sidewalk or footpath in front of the house leading down to that water area. So, I'm just gonna take... Let me just ruin that ruin here. Uh, 26, 27, 28... I'll take about 30 to 40 with me. Yeah, pretty quick to harvest. Yeah, 40, there we go. There's nothing in here, is there? No. Okay, scorpions! Scorpions, 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 where are you? There's one of those nasty towers over there. Strange. If you check out the first episodes, when I was running around here in the desert, the whole desert was out to get me. It was like anything and everything out to kill me. Snakes and trolls and ogres and creepers and scorpions and all sort of things. And now all I see is elephants. That's strange. Am I peaceful? No. I'm a normal. Hmm. There's a bunch of snakes and elephants. Yeah. Oh, look, a baby elephant. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna tame us one of those at some point. There's a zombie under a palm tree. <laughs> Trying to stay cool, huh? Trying to. Yeah. Dead. We got a slime. All sort of snakes. Hello, Mr. Slime. So, Captain Sparkle fans, don't condemn me for killing the slime. No scorpions. What the creeper? There's that temple. We raided. I first thought it would make a good base, but to be honest, I don't want to be living in a desert, and especially not with the more creatures mod. Did you refill the chest? Do they refill the chest? Oh no, they can't. I stole it. Oh yeah, I vandalized that whole place here. You get anything interesting? 
got so many emeralds over in the twilight forest but yeah they're pretty useless there's usually one guy that gives you some diamond helmet for seven emeralds but yeah we were hunting scorpions see you guys I'm sure I'll be back Okay, instead of you watching me running around aimlessly, uh, this is where I was chopping my roof material. <laughs> um, I'm going to jump cut until I find a scorpion and quickly hit record when I find a scorpion and you can watch me kill him. See you in a bit. Let me just make the scorpion follow me for a little bit. Ow! Yeah, I can just attack him. What did he give me? I don't need that, I need a stinger. What can I do with that? Shit. There we go. Can be used to do uh -huh. scorpion plate, scorpion helmet. Can make like a scorpion armor. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Wait, I see. Mops. Hmm, scorpion armor. Very interesting. Oh, I might as well, I completely forgot. I might as well change, show you some of the cool loot I got over in the Twilight Forests. Why is this so weird now? Right. I got an ore magnet. That's pretty cool. I found that in the center chest of that cave. So, um, if I understand it correctly from the wiki, if I point that at the ground and charge it, it will pull up all the ores underneath me. So we're going to test that at some point. That's pretty cool. Uh, I got a whole bunch of enchanted stuff. I'm going to take that axe with me. Enchanted axe. Oh, I got a bunch of enchanted. It's all gold, so I got some iron wood picks, which have fortune and efficiency. I found them as well. A uh, wooden sword and golden sword looting, and it's all like gold stuff I got over there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let me show you my ore chest. I've got 64, 8, and a block. I got a ton of diamonds. Uh, I got a ton of emerald, which I have no idea what to do with it yet. Uh, iron block, uh, two, uh, six iron blocks, uh, 47. Uh, lots of ores, which I haven't smelted yet. I'm going to. Uh, we can do that right now, actually. Uh, furnace. Make a. Iron furnace, gold furnace, diamond furnace. Let's make ourselves an iron furnace and then a gold furnace. Those furnaces burn or cook, smelt, and then there's this extreme furnace which is really expensive. Um, those furnaces smelt and cook stuff much faster. Do we have storage upgrade? Shift click on a better furnace to upgrade its storage. Oh, that's pretty cool as well. Let's start with an iron furnace. So all we need is uh, our eight ingots and a standard furnace. I still have two furnaces over here. So we're going to take our furnace down. Nothing in them. Good. Take our two furnaces. Stick them in here. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and so forth, and so forth. And we got ourselves some iron furnaces. So. Look kind of weird. Ah, they have extra slots here. Interesting. 
very interesting. Yeah, I'll play around with it a bit at the later point. Um, my mud bricks. My storage for blocks is full, so I just chuck it into miscellaneous for now. So we were heading towards that millionaire village in the hopes of finding another scorpion that way and also to steal some of their roofing material for the floor in my enchanting room. So no scorpions, that's uh, yeah, when you need them, they're not there. Hello millionaire French person You're stuck in a fence. Oh so well je me pas de fond. That's so my French. <laughs> A few more phrases here and there, but that's it. There you go, that stuff. I'm gonna steal some of that stuff. I'm gonna be another vandal again. I'm just gonna do it around the edge so they at least have a roof left over their head. Should do the trick. Huh. What the? Did somebody leave rotten flesh out? Get out of here! A whole bunch of flies. Uh, no shovel. I do not possess a shovel. Miscellaneous. I still have a ton of bookshelves in there. Um, let's just make an iron shovel quickly. I might save those bookshelves for. I might invite a friend over to play with me on this map. Maybe he wants to build himself something nice. So. If you guys don't condone of me vandalizing the villages, just let me know. I'll stop doing it. But hey, this looks cool. Yeah, this looks nice. Perfect. Let me know. I'll stop doing it. I'll repair the villages. I'm not a big fan of it either, but hey, if I like that material and I want it for my house, I'll just go and take it. I will not destroy the whole village, so I just took a bit of the roof away. Okay, jump cut until I find a scorpion, I guess. See you in a bit. Yeah, and as you know it, there is three right here. We just walked out, walked across, and I think they went for a bath. Give me a stinger. Yes! Ow, poisoned. Okay, perfect. We got what we wanted. We got ourselves a scorpion stinger. I'm gonna put a torch in there. So. Perfect. So, then what we need is... We wanna do it with a fresh sword. We might be able to repair this one. I wanted to try the repair option anyways. So, put it in there and then repair. You can use. Now, this action allows you to repair a damaged item for 1 XP. What's this? Transfer. You have to put it in there. Disenchant, enchant, 
repair. Ah, what the heck? We'll just make another one. I have to figure that out. Uh, we have tons of diamonds, anyways. So let's get those two stingers. And make ourselves a cool-looking sword. So, pow, pow, diamond sword. Put the three scorpion stingers around it. Boom! Got ourselves a fancy-looking scorpion sword. And let's see if we can enchant that puppy. Nah! Ah! How annoying! I'd rather stick with my standard diamond sword. All right, let's get us kitted up with armor. Diamond armor. We need shiny diamond pants, diamond booties, helmet, and I chest plate. Boom. Let's get enchanting. Chest plate. Projectile protection is pretty good. I don't know what's better. Protection standard or projectile protection? Let's go fallout with project protection. Oh, that's all we can do. Boom. Helmet. That's protected. Boom. Ah, oh, we can add more afterwards. Pants. Mm. Don't have enough. Two. Uh, three. Uh, don't have enough for three. Two. Boom. Aren't we fancy? And now for our old armor. Um, how was that again? We needed stone, clean stone slabs. Do I still have them here somewhere? Yes. One, two, three. Ha. Huh. Guys, check this out. Oh, sorry. Guys and girls. Check this out. What I'm gonna make now. Slap, slap, slap. Boom, boom. Go in there. And we got ourselves an armor stand. Uh, this is from the Bibliocraft mod. You've seen it over in the Twilight Forest when I made those fancy looking shelves. Um, let me just put it here. When I made those fancy looking shelves, um, I go, I'm go. i going to put a link of the mods, there we go, isn't that pretty. I'm going to put a link of the mod in the end of the video, and there you find all the recipes. So I'm going to jump cut a little bit, and I'm going to make this a little prettier. There's a bunch of shelves and stuff, and then I'll show you, and then um, we get to the link and to the... Yeah, to the goodbye. <laughs> See you in a bit. So, on a final note, I kind of used the Bibliocraft now to enhance this place a little bit. Wow, shaking around. Um, as you can see, those shelves you know from we had over in the Twilight Forest. I stuck a few labels on the chest. I'm probably going to do it throughout the other chests, um, food items, and so on. Uh, I noticed a downside with this if you spin. The item will spin with you. So it's kind of a bug. But yeah, um, and a cool thing about the shelves is if you want to use them, I prob I'm most likely going to count how much space is there and then change the whole wall with shelves and then I can see my items straight away because you can stack them in there. 
It will show you only one, but it's stacked in there. Yeah, just put a few cool things here to show off. And then I made myself a little potion shelf. We can just right click and put all the potions in there. And a tool rack just to make it prettier. It, those tools don't have any significant meaning to me. Besides that, this is the shear I used for the RAM four episodes back, but otherwise nothing special. Also with the tools, as you see, they will spin and therefore turn inside the rack. A little buggy. But it looks cool. And then we got our armor stands. So, um, it was a pretty easy going episode. I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys now. I'm gonna clean up a little bit in here, um, put up more shelves, and yeah, I'll explain all next episodes. So, thank you for watching, and have a good day.